everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Sydney and I hope this video finds you well so I have gotten a few requests for a while now to do my curly hair routine now you guys know this is out of my comfort zone but I thought what the hell let's just do it <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoy it I hope that you learned something as always, I love you guys. I hope that you would subscribe, leave a comment, and like this video if you like it. And let's just jump into the video. Hi guys. So as you can see, we're starting off with pretty crusty hair. It's been in buns. It's been styled. It just needs some TLC. So that's what we're going to do today. So of course, we're going to hop right in the shower. I'm going to do a little dance to prepare us for... <laughs> All that is to come okay stiff wear stiff wear bit <laughs> okay so I got these new pureology shampoos and conditioners cuz I have recently went even more blonde so I need to protect my blonde of course so I'm gonna wet my hair first get it nice and damp and then I'm gonna go into this pretty cool purple shampoo <laughs> And I'm just gonna focus this on my roots because that is where like all the gel and the gunk is and then of course it's going to go through the rest of my hair when I rinse it out and I'm gonna brush it through as well so the shampoo will reach the ends of my hair but it just needs to kind of stay towards the root for now oh and I love this brush you guys have to get a brush like this I got it from TJ Maxx <laughs> So now that we are all rinsed, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Maui Moisture Vanilla Bean Conditioner. Guys, it smells like heaven. I love the smell of it. I don't know if I actually like the conditioner as much as I love the smell. <laughs> but I'm going to put some of that and then I'm going to also mix it with my Pureology Purple Conditioner as well. Because I'm trying to protect this blonde. I want it to stay because I love it. So this is just something that I'm doing. I'm going to mix this all together and I'm going to apply it all over my head. I'm going to rake it through with my fingers and then I'm going to go back in with some more of that conditioner and make sure that I have a lot in there. You want to be pretty generous with your product. And then I'm going to grab this little thing that helps massage your scalp. Um, yeah, I don't know. I heard people doing it, so I started doing it, and it just feels really good. <laughs> Give me a moment. I'm going to rinse out. Okay, now I take this amazing brush again, and it just glides through my hair at this point. I want to make sure you're doing all of the brushing in the shower. And then, after I rinse, I'm going to grab my microfiber towel. It helps avoid frizz. And now I'm ready to go style. Okay guys, so now that we are out of the shower, nice and clean, I just want to show you my little routine. Um, so first, a spray bottle is super necessary if you're a curly girl. And something that I do, that's a little trick that I learned, is to put whatever um, like detangler or leave-in conditioner that you like, to put a little bit in the spray bottle. So when I went to the hair salon, I discovered this new brand and I have not looked back. I literally have like a whole drawer full of other products that I don't even use anymore because I'm in love with Jane Carter. I have the curl defining cream. I have the curls to go. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I have the weightless leave-in kind of like a detangler um i found all of these at tj maxx so i highly suggest you guys look at like tj maxx or marshall's before buying them full price because at tj maxx it was 7.99 and i think if you get it at target or something it'll be around like 12 13 kind of like shea moisture products um but honestly i love these way more i have been trying products for years and years and years literally I'm like a product junkie but this is like 
some of the best products I've ever tried. This and, oh, Diva Curl, of course. If you can afford Diva Curl, this is a really good brand as well. But I think Jane Carter for the price is totally worth it. I'm breaking out on this side, so I kind of want to toss it over to this side. <laughs> uh, let me think, let me think. So I guess I'll first start with the weightless leave-in. Just like a little bit, just to kind of get it in my hair. I'm going to take the curl defining cream. Nice. Little size. And then I go in sections. So I'll first start over here in this section. And then just go in. You want to go in um, on the first day when you wash. Because then on the next coming days you're going to use like smaller amounts of product. So you kind of want to be generous with the product on the first day. You guys know this isn't my forte, but I have gotten some requests to do my little curly hair routine. So I thought I would let you guys know what I do. I'm not a professional, but my curls be popping sometimes, so you know. <laughs> and then lastly, I will take my curls to go elongating gel. So this is for curly and coily hair, as are most of these products. Yeah, I think all my products are for curly and coily hair. Yep, because it'll have a little thing right here on the side. You guys can see that. So it's for coily and curly hair. And then I'll just kind of distribute it all throughout my hair. And then I will take some of my Eco Styler Gel. And I really just try and use this on my edges. I don't really use it throughout my hair because it is kind of drying in my opinion. It doesn't have to be perfect because my hair is going to be down anyway. But then I put a little scarf on my head for like five minutes, not too long. So I'm going to go grab that. Okay, so now is the time where I usually get ready. I'll do like a quick little everyday makeup look. If I feel like wearing makeup that day, it'll probably take about like 15, maybe 20 minutes. Um, and then since it's winter, I don't air dry completely, especially if I have to like leave or go to work or something. So I would say I air dry about like... 70% and then I take a blow dryer and I kind of just blow dry. I don't have a diffuser and all that. I literally just blow dry my hair so that it's dry so that I can go outside and it's, you know, totally fine. I don't get sick or anything, but I will come back when I am done. Okay guys, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it was helpful. And as always, I love you. Take care and God bless. Bye.